Drake is screaming at his fish. Oh! Three oh five. We are about to leave. Ooh, Jesus Christ, you scared me. Three oh five. About to leave the house. Got to get the truck hooked up. Megan's awake. Say good morning. Good morning. Boat's about ready to go. I gotta quit talking because we have some time to make up. So, let me get the truck hooked up. And get going. All right, we're in Homestead, and as you know, oh, there goes Dad pulling away right there. You already know we had to stop at that. Oh, can you see it? Don's bait and tackle. That's how you know we're going fishing. Got dad up there in front of us. Beautiful morning down here in Flamingo. Super busy. Harold, Megan, Austin, next three days. Oh yeah. Everything ready to go. Let's do it. We are so excited, right? Oh yeah. Woo. I'm gonna need an energetic crew. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. So the Jewfish, the smaller ones you can take out of the water, but the larger ones you can't. I don't know if he classifies it as a larger one or not. It's really not as large as they get. But try to keep it in the water as much as possible. You gotta be with me. You dead. <laughs> Look who showed up. He's dead. <clears throat> Harold's letting his fish get in a hole back here. No, he's already in a hole. Oh, okay. We'll be back with you shortly, Harold. Hey, here we... Just always the first spot, you gotta unpack everything just to get to where you put it all. So we spent the first little bit of time doing that. We were catching fish in between Goliath, Shark, uh, Snapper, Gag Grouper, target species. So we got one stuck on a rock back over there. Megan and Harold are complaining already. Oh, you're ready. You got a fish on. You got a fish on. This is one of those guys you want to keep in the water, so we're going to go ahead and keep him in the water and revive him here for a second. Bring him back up so I can show the camera, Austin. That's a clean, that's a weird looking. Bring him over here. Bring him over here, Austin. Calamity over here. What you got, Brucey? What you got? I got meow. Meow. Somehow we've gained an extra person. Okay, for all my mathematicians out there, figure this math out for me. There's three of us on here before. Stop drinking that. Yes, he is drinking salt water for some reason. I'm not drinking, I was talking. We're back inside. Look at that bottom structure. Back inside, we are still trying for mangrove snapper with shrimp, and we are trying for grouper with mullet. Hopefully, we can get a nice mackerel or something. The mackerel, fresh mackerel out here, is a delicacy. It goes very quickly out here. Harold's cutting out some fresh mullet over there. Jake's bottle flipping. We're going to get some snapper, hopefully. Jake is screaming at his fish. Oh! Oh yeah, he's been 24 and a half. Look what he did. Oh, that's a 
Do you All right. That would have been a keeper gag in season. That was a good spot. And a nice little Goliath. Very good job. Oh, yeah. Can Harold go two for two? Two for two. Not quite. Not quite, Harold. How much Megan got right here? Oh, yeah. Megan with a nice snapper. Nice catch, babe. He'll, he'll eat too, Jake. Get him in the boat. That's not a mackerel, though. Megan's got a nice snapper. Ooh, bigger than yours. Nice. <laughs> that's what he said. But in this case, that's what she said. Nice catch, babe. That's going in the box. I got my Hold your back. snapper. Come on me. <laughs> he got his head stuck. <laughs> wow. A little spot here is steadily producing. Harold got that nice little grouper. I got a nice little Goliath on Harold Rod. Megan caught about a 13, 14 inch mangrove snapper. Spot is looking up, and Jake has lost two mackerel. It's going good. One mackerel that got away twice. Still two mackerel. That's not how it works, Austin. Awesome. What time is it? It's 155. We're going to call here in a little, uh, not a little bit, probably around 445. Set up since it's our first night here to get everything squared away. Get ready for the windy, Sunday. windy, rainy day tomorrow. Beautiful day today, though. So, unfortunately, it appears fishing has turned a little slow. We're getting a whole bunch of bites back over there, but we believe for them to be what? Tiny snapper. Tiny snapper. You heard it here first, folks. Megan has resorted to reading at such an ungodly hour. That's for nighttime material. Dad is fishing up right over there. So they got a gag grouper and a couple snapper, but we are gonna start thinking about setting up for bedtime soon. It's 3.20, but we, so we still got another hour and a half. We gotta cook dinner and we gotta get everything set up. A little breezy, so maybe a little difficult to put a wedding dress on tonight. We're gonna go find another spot, find where the fish are. So peaceful this time of the day here in the Everglades. y'all the sun's going down we are gonna go ahead and head to our sleeping spot go ahead and get the wedding dress out the tent meet up with dad pop and bruce and jakey hang out them for a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and set up our whole kit and caboodle here take a shower and go ahead and start cooking our uh our taco soup tonight gorgeous sunset though tonight absolutely beautiful look at that it's gorgeous beautiful it's gorgeous so we are all anchored up at our spot for the night. Successful first day. Very successful. Now we have to transform all of this into home for the night. And all that will be succeeded by everything that you see in these compartments up here. We got to take everything out, get all set up, put everything that we can't afford to get wet in case it rains tonight and put it all back in there. So here we go. We're going to have it all out very soon. So the thumb thing doesn't work as well as I thought. Apparently you still have to do work. It doesn't just appear like it does in other videos. So I gotta get to work.
I really hope that was really wishing that was gonna work out. Look who look who arrived. All of our stuff is taken out. Now we put the non-essentials that we don't need throughout the night. Extra fishing poles and stuff like that. And we put those underneath the storage. Everything else we're taking out. We do have storage areas where it won't get wet in case it does rain tonight, which we hit May. I really hope it doesn't. We'll find out. Should be a gorgeous night. Doesn't get much better than this, folks. In the Everglades. All that stuff fit in the bow of the boat. I call that quite a bit of storage. So once we get everything squared away, we have these insulation that fit perfectly flush with everything else. So now we have a ginormous dance floor up here that we can easily transform into a bedroom. What you think over there? Looks ridiculous. So, we have it bungeed up underneath the boat. Let's see if I can show you guys. It might be upside down. But then we tie the canopy up to the power, the trolling motor, so that way it opens it up up in the front so we get a lot of airflow. And once we inflate the air mattress and push it up, it'll pull it up closer up to here. So now I'll take a look, make sure my rope is good, make sure my knot is good, which we have plenty. And then I make the little tedious walk back to the back. And that is an exterior view of the tent. Wedding dress is next. All right. The wedding dress has made it on the boat. We are now ready for the bugs. So we think. But we got ducks instead. Oh yeah, we got ducks, goose, and geese, the moon. Gonna get all that squared away later. Oh yeah. Hopefully be a good night. We got a little paracord that goes all the way around the boat. We pretty much clipped it, but we'll put towels and stuff along the sides. Weigh it down, keep it on the ground. Ooh, that rhymed. First step is a nice shower. So y'all just missed a terrible fiasco. The lights went out, blew a fuse. Couldn't find the fuse, found the fuse, put a new fuse in, it worked. Went to replace the fuse in the back, back into like the holder. And that's what went wrong. Cause then everything went out again and blew another fuse. So I had another fuse. I don't ever bring fuses. And I bought a handful of fuses the other day. Thank God. Cause I've been very upsetting. We didn't have any lights anymore. <laughs> but now we got taco soup for dinner. Very good for this cold night. We're already seeing some shrimp go by. So we're gonna try and see if we can get some shrimp and crabs and everything. But there's also some mosquitoes out. So I gotta try and bat the skeeters. Got the tent up front. We gotta make our bed. We gotta inflate the mattress and everything still. Should be a good night. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner though. I'm laying down in the tent. We have finally got the tent squared away. And I'm ready for bed. But I think I'm gonna do Oreos instead. Yes. That round again. And look at that. We have a light. There's the bed for the day. Night. Oh, for the night. That's the <laughs> second time you have dropped at least it doesn't get your it. socks. Know, at least it doesn't get over there where the puddle is. <laughs> so I have no socks. Well, one complaint I have about this boat is the scuppers are not very well and it can get some water in the boot. All right. Cookies and Oreo time. Sure. I'm cold. Woot, woot. Megan's reading. We broke out the Oreos. And the milk. We ain't for tie to change. Sorry, I'm eating Oreo. We ain't for the tie to change. Yeah, I think we'll probably end up going to bed after. We just want to make sure the tie change boats are all good. See the way the wind's going to be coming for most of the night. It's supposed to be blowing pretty good tonight, so hopefully. Uh, Hopefully we fare pretty well. We think we got everything buttoned down pretty good, so be a true test tonight. 
Well, if y'all like that video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. And me, Harold, and Megan, we will see you next time.